Hello, my name is Gorsham, and I am the Thoughtful Gamer. Today we're going to be discussing religion according to very, very tired gamers. You may be offended, you may be amused, or even confused. But either way, let's have some fun. What harm could there be in a little thoughts? Let's do this. Here is Religion According to Gorsham, the history of God. <laughs> so, <laughs> the way I figure it, in the beginning, God was like, all right, I have all this ability, and I'm bored. There's nothing to do, there's no one to do it to. <laughs> so I'm going to make people, and I'm altruistic, and I think that good things will happen, because it seems like a good idea, and I could teach them how great living is, and yada yada. And so he makes people. He says, okay, now just, just do me one favor. Just don't do anything Stupid. That's all I ask. That's all I want you to do. That's it. You see? Here's a perfect garden full of perfect everything. Now just don't do anything stupid. That's it. That's all I want. Okay? Okay, thanks. We're good. Okay. Okay. Then he's like, okay, I'm going to rest. It's been a long week. I'm done. God? What? We did something stupid. That's the one thing I asked you not to do. The oh... You know what? I did. I, I'm not dealing with this right now. Get the hell out! Get the hell out! <laughs> he's like, everybody leave. And so, and then he's like, watch people grow. And he's like, okay, I gave them this great gift of life. They're gonna be fantastic. They will see how great it is. Why are you killing each other? When did I? Th mm, you know what? No, I'm tired of watching you idiots. And he's like, I'm, I'm going to kill everybody because they're stupid and I can't take it anymore. And then he does. And that's Old Testament where he's like, fuck you, everybody. <laughs> Supreme executive power, lightning bolt. <laughs> but he didn't count on one thing. When he killed them, they came back to where he was. So now he has to deal with all the stupid people. <laughs> and it's like, oh shit, this was the worst idea ever. I sent them there, and now they're here again, but they're not any smarter. Okay, fine. Um, new plan. Not killing anybody anymore. In fact, let's, let's get better medicine. Live as long as you can, and stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just picture him like with a box and he's just like okay okay I'm just gonna keep to myself they will forget I'm here they will leave me alone I'm tired of people asking for money or for hookers or for hookers full of money or just the stupid things that people ask for I don't I'm, and I'm just no everyone is going to leave me alone and nobody does they're still like God God will help me God is the reason that I survived that surgery but it had nothing to do with the fact that I got shot 12 times. Where was I going with this? I lost my momentum. I really don't know. I'm just yeah. going to totally interject my thought here. Why does God speak in English? I just assume that... I don't know. Maybe it's the fart waves again. <laughs> just it's not the fart waves and we understand. Is it bad that that's my only thought on this entire subject is... Why is it in English? <laughs> it's dubbed for each language. <laughs> okay, God yeah, is really is... just a complex series of blinks and winks. This is definitely something for YouTube. Well, it's just... This is the kind of stuff I think about. But, I, but yeah, I think for God, it's got to be the worst feeling. Because like, it's like a parent. When you become a parent... You see your kids making all the same mistakes you made, and you try to guide them. It's like, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. But they do it anyway, because they're stupid. Because they're kids, they're supposed to be stupid. But you think, okay, I've been through this, so I can teach them. But you can't. And it doesn't set in till much later that your parents did the same thing with you. So you should have already known that you couldn't help them from being stupid. But you tried anyway. And for God, it's like a million times over. <laughs> He's like, I had the worst idea. I decided I was going to create people. And they they were just... <laughs> they were, I don't want to use the R word, so I'll just say they were stupid. And then people decided they were going to make people. And it wasn't any better. 
Are you familiar with the story of Job? Oh, man, that's such a messed up story. Yeah, so Job, Job, he has, Job. He has seven, daughter, uh, seven sons and three daughters, has a lot of land, a lot of livestock, he loves God. So Satan says, I bet you I bet you, Job won't love, love you anymore if you take away stuff from him. He only loves you because you gave stuff to him. So God's like, okay, Satan, since you're my friend, I'll prove it to you. <laughs> That, that he actually loves me because he loves because I'm just because I'm God. So he he kills all his oxen and donkeys and kills all his sheep and kills all his camels and kills his all of his sons and daughters. Job's so sad. He still loves God. So he's like, well, you just haven't made him sad enough. So then he he hurts Job. He like what he gave him sores all over his body from his feet to his head. He lost his, so he lost his land, he lost his livestock, he lost all his kids, and he has peanuts all sorts all over his body. But he still loves God. So then God says, okay, I'll give you new kids. And I'll take, and I'll make you so you're not sick anymore, and I'll give you a lot of land. Because I want to, since you help me prove to Satan, who, for some reason I care about, that I'm right. <laughs> oh, man, that, that's, oh, I've always hated that. That's like, oh... I mean, what was even the point of that? <laughs> see, but see, that is the kind of person I would end up being in that kind of situation. <laughs> but there was I would, a... The thing is, I wouldn't do it because he told me to. I would do it because it would be funny as hell. But that's actually taken from the Bible. That's not such something he pulled out of his butt. I know it is. That's kind of the depressing part. It is, why would he even do that? It's like, hey, you know how you're completely beyond redemption and I will never save you? Let me torture the hell out of this guy just to prove it to you that there are people who like me. Why would you do that? <laughs> it's like, isn't it so great following me? Here, have dead children. Have dead animals. Have the pox. Lose all your friends. And if you're wondering what that sound is, it's me taking dollar bills and throwing them at my desk as I say it. Like, God's just <laughs> taking it. He's just like, well, what horrible card is in my wallet? Oh, good, it's pox. Whoosh. Okay, let's see. Today is Tuesday? That feels like Dead Kids Day. Whoosh. And why would you do it? <laughs> What's the motivation <laughs> again, This is something I would do. Just because I would find it fucking funny. <laughs> That's... But see, uh, that's why I'm labeled an asshole by everyone except maybe Cal. And yet, God is the nicest guy ever because he gave us slavery. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think this is going on YouTube anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't care. I, honestly, I think this should be put on YouTube just for that last comment. <laughs> Just because I want to see the amount of religious rage in the comments. But it's true, though. The Bible is filled with talks of why you can own slaves, or who you can take slaves from, or what you can do with your slaves, or how to beat and discipline your slaves. It's, it's, it's a product of the times, is what it is, honestly. If it were written today... It would be about what porn sites you can visit, how often you can go to 4chan. <laughs> that, that would be the Bible. And you laugh, but people looking at it 2,000 years from now would be like, oh my god, that's the fat. This is all true. This is all true. I only go to 4chan twice a day. Just twice. And only to post cats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to go on YouTube for this part. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. You always work under the assumption that your descendants, while their technology will be better, will be stupider than you are. <laughs> and one day they will blame you for their actions. They'll be like, I'm doing this for my ancestors while doing something really stupid. <laughs> I just, I don't look forward to, to my personal descendants because I know what I'm like. So I take that intelligence level and I lower it you know, over the generations. Mm -hmm. And I just see one of my descendants with, you know, the equivalent of whatever they have for sandpaper in the year 3000, and he's just like, for my ancestors, and he starts wiping his butt with it. Just because... <laughs> <laughs> this conversation is a must for YouTube after that last comment. <laughs> Honestly, I wish I was recording so that even if you didn't put it up there, I could... <laughs> God. <laughs> what else 
in my poor house to sleep right now. I'm fairly sure there would be rage or... Yeah. Oh god, I'm crying. I can't breathe. <laughs> what is it that these conversations only happen at this time of night? What, at three in the morning? Pretty much. Oh god. I think it's because we used up our word budget for the day. <laughs> <laughs> for my ancestors. <laughs> You know, that comment about sandpaper kind of reminded me of Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> oh man, I remember those cartoons. That's a long time ago. Yeah, they're too old for me. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, they can get away with that these days with the censors. <laughs> Unless it's Japan. Anything is legal in Japan. Oh man. Hell, they have tentacles. <laughs> Nothing gets worse than tentacles. Well, I don't. Well, if you mix, oh, I'm not even gonna say that. I just horrified myself <laughs> thinking about it. Oh come on! I, I love to be horrified. So come on, fill me in. Well, what if you had like the Japanese tentacle stuff, but instead of a cute Japanese anime girl, it was Romney? <laughs> <laughs> that's not horrifying. That's entertaining. That's totally horrifying. Okay. <coughs> Have you ever seen Lemon Party? Yes. Real Japanese dudes. Uh, real? They were Japanese. Uh huh. I think so. Who took the time to figure this out? <laughs> Cal. <laughs> Honestly, when Cal does something, he never goes halfway. Well, it's not that. I'm half Japanese, so I can recognize Japanese people pretty easily. And I, if I recall correctly, they're Japanese. I can't get. Are you going to go watch and find out now? Just no. to make sure you're right. Nope. I, st I still can't get that fucking for my ancestors thing out of my ass. <laughs> You know what? Next uh, time I do something stupid while we're playing Guild Wars, <laughs> I'm yelling for my ancestors. <laughs> but, but no, my point stands, though. If we wrote a Bible, like, if the, the four of us got together, we wrote a Bible, and we said, this is the word of... of this is the word of Salmonella, or whoever we decide to name our god after. <laughs> and we manage to, in some form or another, keep it alive over thousands of years. People would take and choose parts, and they'd be like, okay, well, I believe in the sandpaper, but I don't believe in <laughs> the, the, the Guild Wars, or something stupid, or the, or the 4chan. I feel that you should be able to watch 4chan as much as you want, but you should have sandpaper. So maybe if you have... Some, Sandpaper while you're watching 4chan, then it's okay. Then that's kind of a compromise. Okay, so we'll leave that in, and we'll just put those two together. That will be commandment number one. You can watch 4chan, but only if you're using sandpaper while watching it. First commandment. Bam. Done. And years and years <laughs> from now, people will think that, that we were amazingly smart pe You know what? I bet you that's how religion started. It's a bunch of guys got together, and they were like, you know what would be amazing? I bet our descendants will believe this. And we did. You know, it'd be funny if in the future the, the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster becomes a real church. <laughs> Cal. Because they made that as a critique of Scientology. It's supposed to be funny making fun of Scientology. But it'd be, fu but it'd be even funnier down the years people actually think it's a real church <laughs> and a real religion. Well, it makes about as much sense. I mean, shoot. I, I had trouble... I have trouble being overly mean to Scientology only because it sounds about as valid as anything else if you actually break down the other belief structures. Uh, a giant alien overlord brainwashing people by having them watch movie theaters floating in the sky and then having little spirits attach their bodies or cause their negative emotions. I'd say that's a little crazier than just believing in one giant guy that made everything. Well, no, look at it like this. You gotta break it down. And I gotta find the exact picture. Here it is. And no offense, Archangel. But Christianity... Dude, I would have taken offense a long time ago. Christianity, if you basically take it apart and you make it simple, is the belief that a cosmic Jewish zombie can make you live forever <laughs> if you symbolically eat his flesh and telepathically tell him that you accept him as your master so he can remove an evil force from your soul that's present in all humanity because a woman made out of a rib of a man was convinced by a talking snake to eat from a magical tree. <laughs> he has a point. <laughs> if you break it down, it all sounds ridiculous. 
<laughs> I'm telling you, this conversation we're having at 3 a.m. was made by people thousands of years ago. At 3 a.m. then. And they were like, you know what would be better? You can't just make him Jewish. He has to be a zombie. Okay. Well, he's not. A, but if he was a zombie, people would be afraid of him. Well, he wasn't always a zombie. Okay, get this. He was once a person. Really? Yes. And then he died and became a zombie. Well, okay. But how do you. But, but why would they follow him? Because you could be immortal. Everyone wants to be immortal. Okay. Well, but, but how does he know they're following him? Well, they think to him. They think to him all the time. And they're like, I am thinking of you, but not while I'm on, you know, with my sheep. But when I'm not with my sheep, I'm thinking to you that I accept you and please help me. And it just, this is how things happen. You laugh, but if there is an afterlife where we live forever, we're going to, I'm going to find you and we're going to talk to people a thousand years from now. And this had better be a fucking religion. Our f fucking 4chan sandpaper religion had better exist. <laughs> 4chan sandpaper religion. <laughs> I don't even know what uh, the attendance would be. I'm sure people will fill it in over time. This conversation better be on fucking YouTube tomorrow. Oh, I'm sure Reddit will have its own religion too and they'll hate each other. People will have wars over that, and it'll sound perfectly logical at the time. It's like, well, the United States of 4chan went to war with the new Reddit Republic because religion. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm imagining all of the religion-related rage tomorrow. Well, I mean, think about on. it. If Let's say that there was some cataclysmic event and, like, almost everything gets destroyed, but they manage to salvage some pieces of the internet. They're going to find three things. They will find 4chan, they will find Reddit, and they will find porn. I figure they know what porn is, so they're going to have Reddit and 4chan oh, to okay, take apart Okay, the only problem history. with the latter part one there is that one kind of falls under the chan of 4chan. Well, yeah, I suppose, but... But that's going to be their basis for our society. They were apparently Hello. we worshipped cats, and we liked porn, and women with penises. That was our thing, according to Fortune. <laughs> oh, I forgot about shitty dick nipples. <laughs> oh god! I don't want to know. That's gonna be like that's gonna be like the the scary movie monsters in three thousand is shitting dick nipples. <laughs> like how we have werewolves now. That's gonna be the future. No, the future will be tentacles. <laughs> tentacles because at are some point, pony. at some point, some creature is going to mutate into a tentacle monster. I think we already have those. You know, and like then the official regalia instead of the cross is going to be Guy Fox masks. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! You know, the cross was something else that always bothered me. I mean, let's say for example that this does become a religion again. Okay. We're we're basing this off a stupid idea, I know. But let's say it does. And then, let's say at some point, I get shot. Like, let's say with... Let's see, what's the other thing to get shot? Let's say I get murdered by a turkey baster. I don't know why, but it kills me. <laughs> <laughs> it kills the hell out of me. Well, come on. If someone told you now that someone got killed by the letter T, would you believe them? Of course you wouldn't. That's ridiculous. But let's say it did happen. Let's say I got killed by a turkey baster. And then everyone who followed my religion, in order to show their support, where's turkey basters? And then I come back years later, and I see everyone carrying my murder weapon. I would freak out. I would shit my pants. <laughs> I would just see this horde rushing at me with turkey basters. And I would die, because I'd have a heart attack. That would be the end of the second coming of Gorsham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think of how they could kill with a tricky baster, and I figured they could put rat poison up it and shove the rat poison up your ass. <laughs> See, this is the extent of what goes through Cal's head on a nightly basis. At least I would die as I lived. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Cal. <laughs> You're the only one of us who even had a thought of how the hell that was possible. You're the only one who rationalized that killing someone with a turkey baster well, is actually possible now. It's the same concept with the letter T. That's what the cross is, and someone killed you with it. How does that happen? I got killed by the alphabets. Oh, that's terrible. We should 
I just, oh my goodness. Oh, my I side hurts. Imagine his face if he ever saw alphabet soup. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's got to be like a built-in PTSD now. It's like he's just trying to eat alphabet soup. And then he sees one of the T's and he just starts flailing. He's like, oh, 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 and they have to take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Ark, so much will you, this conversation. Hey, Ark, will you come visit me in hell sometime? <laughs> uh, honestly, with the conversation we're having, like, and the amount of laughter I'm getting out of it, I'm probably going to be right there with you. No, I, I don't know. I just think about this stuff because, uh, well, fuck it, you right? Know? Why?